how to make YouTube shorts with Canva. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with creating YouTube shorts using Canva. So let's get into it. Now we all know how addictive YouTube shorts can be and how easy it is to add some nicely formatted content on YouTube shorts. And I'll show you guys how you can take a standard video. So I have a regular old video that I want to convert into something like a closing or opening time or like a cute edit for my coffee shop. So for that, firstly, I'm going to go into Canva and I'll search for YouTube shorts. And once I search for YouTube shorts, you will see this icon will appear. Now I will click on this icon and this will show you different templates for YouTube shorts that you can use. Or you can open up a blank YouTube Shorts canvas. Now, once you open up a blank canvas, on the left, you can click on Upload and Upload Files. Once you click on Upload Files, you will be able to upload your own video over here. So I have this simple video of a girl standing in front of a coffee shop. This is a barista. We're just going to be uploading this video on and I'm going to wait for the upload to be completed. And once our upload is completed on the left over here, we can get started with stylization of the video. So this is our video and I'll zoom in a little so you guys can see. It is a five second clip and I'm just going to expand it like so. It is okay, so it's a total of seven seconds. And I'll just play it like this, like so. So this is my seven second clip. You guys can see I have the entire clip. Now, there are two ways that you can go on about with this. You can add some more shots. So I might have videos of coffee and all, you know, uh, my opening signs and other elements of my cafe. So I am going to be using stock videos, but you guys can obviously upload your own. We're going to search for coffee shop over here. And I will just be using a couple of images from, and I'll just click on new page on the bottom and I'll add this as a new page. I think this is not going to fit because it's not shot in portrait. So I will have to look for videos that are more so in portrait mode. And I'll just search for this and add that. And I will be trimming these later to make them all fit within a minute or, you know, less than a minute show coffee shop aesthetic like this and i'm going to take another clip like this one i don't think this looks really that nice i think this one is going to look really nice and i'm just going to expand that as well so now it is time to edit this now firstly i'm going to click on the first video and i want the girl to be like the initial welcome that you see into the video but I'm going to click on this video over here and around the three second mark, I am going to split this. So I'm going to do a right click and you can also just click on your video over here and you can click on trim. And once you click on trim, you can just trim it to the section that you like, like so. And I'm just going to make this slightly shorter than even three seconds. And once I've done that, I can move towards my second shot and I'm going to reorder these because I want the shot of the coffee being poured as my second shot. To do this, you can just hold them at the bottom. And once I've done that, I can see this is a pretty prolonged shot. So again, I'll do the same thing where I'll click on edit and I'm just going to be editing this and I'll make this a shorter shot like this. And instead of it being so long, I'll just leave it at two seconds. And then finally, we have our final shot of the person drinking the coffee. So I'll click on edit again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim it like this until the person picks up the mug and takes a sip and puts it back down. I think I'm going to just keep it around nine seconds. So after that, again, I'm going to add the page again and I'll upload this video again, and then I'll click on trim. And I will trim it to the latter five seconds like this. And once I've added all of my shots in the order that I prefer, I can proceed with music and visual editing. So to do that, firstly, I'll click on text. And once you click on text on the left, you have a bunch of different font combos that you can use. So you can use a font combo or you can, you know, stylize your font yourself. I'm going to use this little font combo. 
and I will add our coffee shop name. So let's say it's Jesse's Coffee, like this. And now I will resize this and then place it on the top. And then I will click on the font and then change that as well. Now, once I have done that, I want to maybe add a few decorative elements. So I'm going to go back into elements on the left and I'll just search for coffee. And then I'll go into graphics to see some interesting elements like this coffee bean. I think I want to add something like coffee beans at the corner. So I think I'm gonna, going to add this little Jesse's coffee like this. I don't think it looks good. Maybe a different element like this one where it just says coffee like this. And now I'm going to go back into text or I think I'm going to go into elements and search for open now because I want to announce that my coffee shop is open like this. So I don't like these font combos. So instead I will go into text and use one of these font combos because I think they are going to do a better job. And there are so many amazing combinations available that you can pick out from. I want something that's really bold. So this one is really nice. I will just click on this text and I will write open now. And I'll just copy this text and then add that. Be an add, add this. And it's pretty much just saying the same thing over and over again. We're just replacing the text from new arrivals to open now. Now I'll click on the text, click on over here, and I will add the font color. So I will change all and add font color as white for all of these elements. Now, I don't want this to appear throughout the video. So for that, you would have to split the video, or you can go on ahead and choose where you want this to appear at. So on the bottom, you will see multiple different views and you can go on ahead and duplicate this. So I'll show you guys how to do that as well. So you're going to take your first page and you are going to click on duplicate page. Now, if I want this to be appearing after 1.2 seconds, so I will remove 1.2 seconds from the start like this and I'll delete the text. So I'll delete the text from this one. And then I'll trim this one off from the other direction, like so. And now if I play the video, this is coffee open now. And now I have my shot for this. I have my coffee shot. And I think the coffee shot is a bit too prolonged. So I am going to trim it like this and then back again. And just like that, we have a really nice, interesting YouTube short ready. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next video.